Hey, hey, hey. So I'm so upset because I decided to do this video all over again, guys. Um, I've decided to do a review on the bronzers of the summer because I was thinking, you know, I wanted to get something that's going to keep my skin glowy, but also bronze, dark. I enjoy being dark, so I will be tanning. I will be doing everything to keep my skin very healthy and glowy. Um, I purchased three bronzers. Um, one actually was a gift because I was waiting for Rihanna to come out with it. Um, it's called the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. This particular one is brown sugar. Yes. I'm definitely going to get the Beach Please and the Fairy Puff later. Um, but I was told that the Fairy Puff is really just more like a dusting of glitter. Not really interested in that for like $50 or $60. But the set is like $160. I really don't see me paying for that. And I didn't even pay for this. Someone gifted it to me. So definitely this is going to be my review for these three. I gifted this one this one actually will get it was gifted to me um this actually is not a smart decision for Fenty um of course everybody's gonna buy it because Rihanna's name is attached to it and she's super cool but what I don't like about this is when I applied it I felt very sticky and I put it in my review that I did before um I applied it and it was just super super like it's not super sticky but it's just like, why would you make a product that's a bronzer for people to use in the summer and it's freaking sticky? Like, it makes no sense to me. Looks great. Definitely has my skin bronzy. But um, I don't think a lot of people are going to want to be sticky in the sun. Makes absolutely no sense. Great highlight. Um, but not a good choice for a formula. You're going to have people that are want to are going to want to use it in the sun at the beach and I'm pretty sure after a while if you can hear it it's sticky. Nobody's going to want to feel like this and they're going to want to get in the ocean or take a shower and wash this shit off because I feel like if I'm if this is sticky now, then in the sun I'm going to feel like a glazed donut. No, that, that wasn't smart. It really wasn't smart. So great product, don't get me wrong, but not the smartest idea or formula for a bronzer. Now, um, I was at Bath and Body Works. I'm um, actually shopping online and looking at my daily stuff and what I wanted to get. And I came across bronzers and I was like, you know what? Cool, because I definitely want, you know, something from Bath and Body Works that I can try out and compare it to the body lava. I got it and I wasn't happy with the feeling. Great look. Feeling is terrible. You definitely look bronzed and glowy. Don't want to feel like a glazed donut. So what I did purchase from Bath & Body Works was this Tiare Manoi oil from Bath & Body Works. Great product. Um, how much was this? Well, I did my little, you know, buy three, get three free, and I just went overboard. But yeah, I probably didn't pay $14.54. I don't know. But um, great product. Um, again, not smart formula. Because particularly, oh my God. <laughs> this is an oil. Now, it didn't specify that in the um, description. There was another oil next to it or another oil um, associated with the same label. I forgot the name of it. And that one specifically said that it was a sparkling, glittery. So I said, okay, this should be great for going out at night on a date. You know, applying to your freshly waxed legs or freshly shaved, whichever one you prefer, nair, whatever. And it's definitely going to give you a great shine because it's oil. Um, it's all natural oil. You can definitely smell it. It smells like hair grease. <laughs> um, but it's natural oil. And um, you're not going to be able to use it any other time because, again, why are people making oils with glitter for people to use during the summertime? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, nobody's going out here to be fried in the sun like a piece of chicken or a bait, like a Krispy Kreme. Like, th th it just doesn't make sense. So, to me, common sense to tell anybody, you know, oil is only going to transcend for nighttime. You're not going to be able to use this during the day, even if you're in the office. And, I mean, if you're in the office, you're not going to be showing skin. So, what the fuck difference does it make? Like, again, another product where I was just kind of disappointed because it only it only kind of puts itself in a box. Like you could only really use it during nighttime or at the beach at night. You put this on during the day, you're fucked. You're going to be sweating and you're going to want to shower. Same thing with the body lava. So honestly, I would use this because the oil is lighter. Um, 
it's more hydrating. I can feel the hydration in it. The glitter on my arm, you can barely see it now, but it definitely will look great at night. But again, it's oil. So what are you going to do? You're not going to be able to go out in the sun with this crap. Well, it's not crap. It's great, but you know, no, but what I did stumble upon and what I didn't expect to be the best one. And it ended up being my favorite one. Um, at the beach bronzer. This is what I recommend as my number one choice. It's not going to be that known because it's Bath and Body Works. And everybody knows Bath and Body Works is just like a, a grab. Like, you know, buy three, get three free. Just get a whole bunch of lotions and sprays. And everybody in my job knows me for having, like, lotion. Like, where your lotion at? You got lotion? What flavor you got today? What smell you got today? I always got a different one because I'm addicted to it. I even bought some for my daughter. So these pretty much, this one comes in at the beach. It smells Oh my God, it smells amazing. I don't know what they have in it. And um, there's the other one called In the Sun. In the Sun was gone. This one was the only one that was left. And I was like, damn, if this is the only one that left, that's left, then that In the Sun one probably smelled amazing. And I thought about it. No, 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 no. When you make a product, most times they make it synonymous with something that will market it better to people. So what I thought was that psychologically people were, or females or whomever was looking at it like, Okay, bronzer in the sun. That's probably going to bronze my skin better. Let me get it. No, in the sun is a smell. At the beach is a smell. It's a scent because they have the whole line. Body spray, lotion. I don't think it is. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's just a scent. Reason why I say is this. I thought this was actually going to tan my skin, and it didn't. Um, as you can hear, it's like a dry oil. Like Not even oil. It's alcohol. So it's pressurized. And it's a scent, but it's dry. Well, even though my skin looks wet, wait till it dries. I'll tell you when it's dry. But that's an amazing bronzer. It doesn't deepen and color my skin like I thought it would. It looks ashy in the light, but it actually is a very shiny. I, I imagine if I were to go into the sun, I, my skin would definitely look glowy. It would look amazing. Now... The great thing about this is I can use it in the daytime, I can use it at night, and I'm not going to feel like a piece of meat cooking in the sun. So I feel like Bath & Body Works had the right idea when they created this. Um, it's pressurized, denatured alcohol, uh, isobutane. It makes sense. It's not an oil. It's not a sticky formula, which I don't know what these people think when they get hired for marketing yeah let's make an oil so people can wear it in the summertime and be hot and sticky as hell by the afternoon and want to wash that shit off what if i go to an event at the beach or i go to the beach period and i'm gonna want to get in the water but then all the shit is washed off it's like i i really want to pick people's minds and marketing and ask them what the fuck were you thinking like this isn't even gel based it probably no it probably is gel based but it feels sticky like after a while, this does kind of smooth out. It does, but it's like, yo, dude, like, I'm in the house at night, okay? It's dark, it's cool, so I'm not gonna feel it. But I can imagine what this feels like, this body lava, in the sun, in the heat. Yeah, it'll probably bake the smell into your skin and you'll smell wonderful while you're sweating like a pig, but it's like, dude, I'm. it's like wearing a plastic suit. Like, what the fuck? So... Don't get me wrong, I, I love Fenty Beauty. I, I've added that to my makeup collection. Um, outside of Sugar Pill and Kyor, which I really don't purchase anymore that much because she just got married and forgot about her shit. Um, MAC Cosmetics and Fenty Beauty is now like my main staple for my makeup. So I'm not knocking Fenty Beauty. It's just the idea for body lava, somebody wasn't thinking. They really weren't. You have a gel-based formula that's sticky and that if they're in the sun, they're going to bake and they're going to sweat. It, common sense. The T.R. Minoy, same thing. I would wear this oil at night or on a date, but it definitely would not be during the day in the sun. The only bronzer that I'm going to approve of and tell you that's number one, really, 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 is this bronzer that Bath & Body Works has. If anybody can let me know of a different one, I definitely will purchase it and try it. But... um I'm definitely going to buy the end of some because I want to smell it. This smells oh, fucking, And then it's, it, it sprays out one smell. And then 
it smells a different way. Oh my God. I can't even, what does it smell like? I can't even explain to you. It smells like what, what a, a cool pop heaven would smell like. Like, this reminds me of a song like um, Dreams by Tom Cop 1983. Check that song out. I'm, I'm, I'm such a nerd, but that song is amazing. But I smell this. And I think about this song, like, oh my God, it's, wait. It smells like candy, I think. Like a candy, but like a grown woman candy. It's not like you smell like a a, a teenage teeny bopper trying to look for someone to take you out or be a sugar daddy. Oh my God, is this whatever this, this is my number one for bronzer. This, 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 $20, $18.50, but it's worth it. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna run out of it quickly. This is gonna quickly become a staple. I'm telling you, I am smelling myself. Like I know my boyfriend comes home, he gonna be like, damn, baby, you smell good as hell. And I do. Oh my God. But yeah, this is great for a date night. This will actually be my first choice to wear at night. It is it says it's illuminating and conditioning, but yeah, who thinks of, oh, let's make an oil for people to wear in the hot, hot sun fucking bitch like that's so stupid but yeah I, this is my first choice to wear at night but i'm gonna be honest with you the last out of all the three was definitely body lava because it's like a sticky formula it's like why would i wear that this i can wear in the daytime i can wear at night it's a dry feel i still look bronze it's amazing and then it's different types of glitter it's like um a spray that makes i can't even explain this is magical okay this is freaking magical it's fucking magical this shit right here i'm gonna get the other one and bath and body works better have it for me anyway <laughs> don't mind me y'all but comment below let me know what the bronzes are gonna be for you guys forgive me my boobs this bra from victoria's secret is really like bothering me it's well made quilted as you can see the stitching on it is amazing but it's my boobs are getting so big <laughs> oh my god it's annoying um but yeah, so definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys think. What are you going to be your bronzers for the summertime? I'm definitely going to buy the fairy um, puff. But another friend of mine was telling me it's just like it's like one of those powder puffs that you used to have for your grandmother or something like that, and it just puffs out a whole bunch of glitter. It's fucking stupid. So um, I don't know. I don't know. Just that's going to be the best thing. I was trying to turn my phone down. Y'all like my phone? My iPhone X camera case somebody actually asked me like what is this like an attachment you put to your phone to actually take a picture i said no it's my fucking phone he was like what it's fake it's made to look like a camera it's not real he was like oh that's dope fucking idiot. anyway he's not an idiot he's so cool <laughs> just joking but comment below let me know what you guys think i definitely want to know what's going to be the best option for bronzers this summer um don't mind me my hair is looking mad crazy and i know i said i would not put on another lace front but I'm just so inundated with work and trying to figure out my next move in my career. So I don't have time to go sit around. Let me get my hair done. What am I doing? <laughs> and I've definitely been trying to get back to the you know YouTube channel and definitely trying to still be a mom and do everything at home. Make sure you know BF satisfied. And damn, being a woman is not easy. It really isn't. So let me guys let me know what you guys think. Comment below, like, share, and subscribe if you can. If not, then you know it's all good. I'm not stressed. Whatever. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.